There's a few obvious choices here that really work well as counters. Lissandra's ultimate is an amazing counter to Zed, especially with Zonius. Fizz is another one that comes to mind with his E and burst damage. And Malzahar, if he can keep his shield up, just needs a gank or continuous poke to kill him. Kale, Vladimir and Talon all have ultimates or abilities that easily allow them to dodge or stop his obvious engages. Zed's passive enhances his auto attacks on targets that are below 50%, meaning he can easily last hit in lane. Zed's Q makes both him and his shadow throw a shuriken in a skill shot line in front of him. His W makes him create a shadow of himself that will last for 4 seconds and will mimic his abilities as well as allow him to switch places. His E slows enemies in a small radius around him and his ultimate creates another shadow and will leave a mark on the enemy for 3 seconds. A bit of the damage dealt within those 3 seconds is re-dealt after the mark explodes. Zed is one of those champions with loads of combos but his most basic in lane will be to W somewhere near you, ult you, auto attack, E, Q with the 3 shadows and auto attack. This should all be done while the mark is still active. The most important thing for you to do here is focus on dodging his three shurikens. There's two spells I've seen Zeds take to the mid lane, being that Ignite is probably more likely. The fact that damage is dealt to you over three seconds with the mark makes it very important to most Zed players and will stop potions from saving you as well. The second one is Exhaust when the target is very mobile or relies a lot on bursting Zed down. So go for aggressiveness or take Exhaust. Zed has two very important level power spikes. The first being his level 3, which enhances in lane poking capabilities dramatically. His level 6 is a game changer, which will almost definitely mean he'll try to go all in and kill you. Yomus provides him with chasing potential and Dustblade will almost grant him a second ultimate. The way that you counter this is by being patient when his ultimate animation hits and then try to flash or dodge all the damage that will come from his Q's and E's. Early and mid game is when he can shine like most assassins and wait for him to become frustrated and commit to mistakes in the late game. Thank you for tuning in and remember, wait for him to use his shadow and then kill him when he has no escapes, dodge all he tries to hit you after his ultimate and Zonya's all the freaking way.